Uh oh. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Dang. Well, I don't know how I'm gonna get home exactly. It's a 125, just a little guy. Oh my gosh, that is the perfect one. That would fit the clutch. Oh yeah. It's cute, it only has four speeds and it's, you know, pretty harmless. So, like, uh, how much will range from Starbucks? Uh, for price? Yeah. Yeah, I got this one for 2700 oh. And they're, I mean, I've seen them for 2300 so they're cheap. Oh. They're perfect. Grom? Yeah, Honda Grom. I don't know how I'm gonna have anything to fix this with. I need to find that clip though, because I can't really ride without it. People, here's the news. I lost my master link and I lost the clip, which means I must have put the clip on backwards when I put this new chain on. So I was stuck in traffic for a sec, had to pedal off the side of the road, had to go fetch my chain, and luckily found the master link. It's right there. And um, I have called a friend to go buy me a new master link and come bring it to me. God bless her soul. That happens when you work on your own motorcycle, and honestly, this is just what happens when you own a motorcycle at all. Things break down. This is a good lesson in humility, and to just take it easy, and to just hang out. I think I just photobombed them. This is gonna make for an interesting video. <laughs> all right, friends, I just wanna say, I just met a subscriber. His name's Eric. Says he lives downtown. Says he's been watching my videos for about a year. Which is super funny, because <laughs> uh, just the chances of meeting a subscriber downtown. Sorry I didn't get you on footage, buddy. But I'm sure I'll see you again. You, uh, you caught me at a bad time with my metaphorical pants down. My chain is broken, so... Anyway, shout out to Eric. <laughs> That's Noelle. She's coming to rescue me. She has my parts that I need to fix this bike. You are a lifesaver. <laughs> so, um, wow, thank you. I owe you a big time. That's exactly, yep, that's exactly it. And this is handy dandy. <laughs> Comes with an extra plate. Mine didn't, my other one didn't come with an extra plate. Maybe that's what I was missing. I think this is going to be kind of hard to put on. It's on there. Not 100% confident, I mean, it's on there. Well, how do you think I feel? I'm the one riding it. Poor biscuit, Benny. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'm gonna give this thing a quick scooch up and down this sidewalk. Well, maybe you wanna follow me? And if you see a piece of the bike go flying, you'll know. Sure did. I'll see you out on the road. Uh, it's kind of wet. I can try. Nope. Uh-oh. That's not good. This is exactly what I was worried about. Uh-oh. Dude, this is the worst. How do I get this thing home? Is it safe in the garage? It would be, it would be safe in that garage.
This is the motorcycle walk of shame. Two thousand years later. All right, viewers, biscuits, I'm leaving the bike. Okay, God bless America. Well, I'm back on the shadow today. So after all those shenanigans <laughs> with the Grom, this is what the weather looks like now. It's beautiful. Hello, Indiana summers. I love it. You know, things like this happen. I think it's easy to get frustrated and get really, really angry about motorcycles breaking down. But at the end of the day, you gotta realize, you know, at least for me, these things are toys and I'm really blessed to have, you know, three different, mo well, really four different modes of transportation at my disposal. And really, it's, it's ludicrous to think that just because one of these breaks down, I can just hop on another one or get in my car. And that's not really, uh, that's not really the Grom's fault, honestly. It was my fault. What I realized happened is that I didn't install the master link plate underneath the master link clip because I don't think, actually, I really don't remember seeing that part when I was installing the new chain. The replacement kit that Noel got me, it did have a backing plate and I didn't have the right tools like a vice grip. I, I couldn't quite put it on when I was downtown. So I just tried it again with just the uh, master link clip and that thing just has no structural rigidity. So of course it came off. Easy to get uh, ticked off, but I'm really blessed. So I'm gonna not get so angry because it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It was my fault anyway. It's gonna be angry at myself for being a ding dong. <laughs> I'm a disgusting human being. We can all do our part to reduce road rage. Road rage is stupid. I guess another topic we could talk about is appreciation. Things like this. It's really easy to take for granted good weather when you live in a place that has good weather all the time. This thing's shocks are not very good. <coughs> Bless me. Yeah. Did you biscuits know? Biscuit Benny also plays the keyboard. Check this out. This is the easy part. that let's get on out of here see ya <laughs> a day in the life of the biscuit boom hello <laughs> let's get out of here <laughs> this thing is pretty rough Pretty rough, friends. Finally headed home. Hey, do you guys remember in that update video that I did earlier this year? It's official. I did get a new job. In fact, my commute is going from 35 minutes to three minutes, but it's a big deal. Nice boat, dang. Nice Audi, dang. Nice Toyota, dang. Sodded. They probably look at me and they're like, what a nerd wearing a helmet on a cruiser. Well, guys, I'm sorry. I just like value my life, you know? You gotta risk it to get the biscuit, folks. Scoop dee dee whoop. Whoop dee dee scoop. So it's a couple days later. I'm rescuing the Grom from this parking garage. First, I gotta go get my car because we're gonna throw it in the back. I'm not sure the Grom actually fits in the back of the Jeep, but we'll find that out soon. And now for the long drive down the several levels of this parking garage. There's old Roger. This is the spot that the Grom has to fit in. 
What do you think? Will it fit? Yes. A few moments later. Oh, that actually was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Thanks to my buddy AJ. <laughs> just surprised it fit in you. We didn't have to take the handlebars off or anything. Thanks for your help, brother. The Grom is safe and sound in the back of the Jeep. Apologies for not getting videos of loading it. That was some shenanigans right there, but I didn't really have a way to hold the camera, you know, but this is hysterical. I cannot believe that this worked. Anyways, I'll catch you guys back in the gay garage. The garage, that's French for garage. Here we are back at Garage Harambe. It's time to get this bad boy out of here. Roger, you are a bad boy. Let's go, Raj. Oh, fatty. Come on now. Oh yeah. It's a, it's a tight fit. Damn, we're in a tight spot. Damn, we're in a tight spot. Damn, we're in a tight spot. Let's just get you upright, buddy. Wheelie! There we go! I get by with a little help from my friends. Shout out to AJ for helping me load that bad boy up. And shout out to Noel for driving me over some spare parts. That was really lit. I got some good friends, yo. And with that masterpiece, all I have to say is good night. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for your subscriberage. Subscribage. Anyway, share the video, please. It helps me if you like it and you share it and you get more subscribers. We can grow our community that way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sodded. Sodded. Yeah, give me some. And with that, I say, peace.